Hi, Tom here. Welcome to my channel, Tom Loves DIY. I'm doing things a little differently in this video. I usually do the build and then at the end of the build show you the results. But today I'm going to show you the results now and either at the end of this video or in a separate video I'll do the build so you can see how it's done. I've got my basic cook kit here. This is for alcohol stove. Um, got some aluminum foil if I need to make a windscreen. My 900 millimeter Lexata pot, a 650 mug with a homemade cozy, cozy, cozy. Anyway, and inside I have my matches. I showed you this in a hack where you can put a little bit of uh, sandpaper on the outside of a bottle and put your matches inside. I have some alcohol gel. This is something new. I just got it online. Saw it on somebody else's channel. And it looked pretty interesting. Tried it for my stove for priming. It worked pretty good. Alcohol and my new stove modification and a homemade priming pan. This is what I want to show you. This is my squirt cheese can stove. Super efficient. Boils four cups of water on under an ounce of alcohol. And I've added a pot stand integrated. Pretty cool, huh? These are 2.5 millimeter stainless steel rods held on by aluminum. You can't hear it probably, but when I push this in, it clicks because the rod comes just under this top section and is held in place by a little clip I made from 1 16th inch thick half inch wide aluminum bar stock. These tabs up here that guide and hold this vertical are just made from material similar, uh, taken from the same can as the stove. So this sits here and the pot sits on top. Now I extended these out about one and a half centimeters, a half an inch beyond my five inch pot so that if I wanted to, I could use it to hold on the aluminum foil that I might use for a windscreen. When you're done, these pop out, it rotates, and all three of them can come inside and then it's a little bit more compact. That of course goes in the pot. I'm pretty happy with this. It holds the pot about eight, maybe a little more than eight centimeters above the bottom of the stove, which is where I've found the optimal height to get the most efficiency out of the flames that come out of the top of this stove. That's the build. Please subscribe, click the like button and stick around for the build detail on how this is made. I'll give you enough information that I think you can do it yourself. That's what it's about. Thanks for watching.